Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make bison skirt steak salt and boca. Cue the music. Welcome back. Thanks a lot for joining. I appreciate you watching on whatever platform you're joining us on. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. Like I said, we're making bison skirt steak salt and boca. So let's drop down here and see what our ingredients are. We have got four ounces of bison skirt steak. We'll talk about this in a minute. A half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, four fresh sage leaves, one thin slice of prosciutto, a quarter cup of olive oil, two medium cloves of garlic, one quartered onion that we have julienned, a half a cup of porcini mushrooms, third a cup of chicken broth, third of a cup of white wine, and one tablespoon of cold butter. All right, as you can see here, we are using a bison skirt steak, and it says right there, Wild Oasis Bison. This is a wonderful company that I am doing this video for. I want to tell you a little bit about them before we start here. Wild Oasis Bison is a woman-owned and family-operated bison ranch. It's 100% grass-fed and grass-finished bison meat. The bison are raised on open grass pastures with no hormones, antibiotics, pesticides, or steroids. Their bison are 100% natural. Wild Oasis Bison's customers can explore a delectable selection of over 25 cuts, including steaks, roasts, and ground options, along with their bison jerky, snack sticks, summer sausage, and salami. You can discover the full range online at their website, wildoasisbison.com and in the bottom there in the description box you will see a discount code for 10% off your order just punch in CHEF10 when you check out. We are using the skirt steak I'm gonna switch over in our, our frame here and we're gonna start cutting this up. Alright I have cut this open and I'm gonna pull out our skirt steak as you can see there is quite a bit here this is a pretty good size Skirt steak, as you can see, but we're not going to use all this. I'm going to cut off about this much right here, and I'm going to set aside the rest for later. All we're going to do is focus on this piece here, because this recipe down below in the description box is for one serving. So I'm looking for any kind of fat or connective tissue, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot on here. I'm going to trim any bit that there is off. But there's not a whole lot just on that edge there. A little bit there. Next thing you want to do is you want to just a little salt and pepper on it. I got four leaves of sage here. I'm just going to put two on that side. We're going to take our prosciutto that we've got. Gonna lay this down. I'm gonna flip the side that we got the, the leaves and the salt and pepper on. I'm gonna put it right down on top. We're gonna take our salt and pepper and our other two leaves and put them right in there. And then we're gonna take our prosciutto that we've got and we're just gonna press it right on in there. And that is ready to go. I've got two garlic cloves here. I'll do this off the bloody board. All you're basically doing with the two garlic cloves is you're taking a knife and you're just going to smash them like that and you're ready to go over to your frying pan where we're going to start cooking this up. I'll meet you over there. All right, as you can see, we have got our mise en place all ready to go. Got our prosciutto wrapped skirt steak. We got the garlic that we crushed, a little salt and pepper there with our oil. Then we got our mushrooms our onions, our wine, our chicken stock, our butter, a plate to let the steaks rest on, and then of course our two utensils that we anticipate that we will need. I'm going to go ahead and set up the shot in the cast iron pan and we'll start cooking. All right, I basically want a medium to medium high heat. I'm going to add half of our oil into the pan, let that get hot. All right, our pan's hot. Got our onions right into the pan there. Throw a little salt and pepper in there. And we're just gonna stir that 
stir these up. What we want to do is we want to caramelize these. Let them cook down until they start getting color change and their sugars start to come out a little more. All right, we can see starting to turn low color. So now we're going to add our mushrooms right on in there. Porcinis. You can find them if you don't have fresh porcinis in your store. In the produce section, they might have dried porcinis. Uh, ask your grocer, he'll let you know. But you got to rehydrate these uh, porcinis with a little bit of hot water, boiling water, to rehydrate them. You don't want to eat them when they're hard. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to cook this all down until everything is full of color. It almost looks like it's burnt, but it ain't burnt. It's just changing color and caramelizing. A little more oil in there. Oops. That was the wine. Oops. <laughs> I don't want to waste the wine. A little more oil. Stir it up. Yeah, the wine helped to deglaze it a little bit. All right, we're throwing our smash. Remember, we smashed these. We're leaving them whole, both of them. We just want to impart their flavor. So we're just going to leave this to cook till it cooks down. All right, as you can see, this has got a nice color on it. It's charred nicely, caramelized, whatever you want to call it. The onions, the mushrooms. And it also has imparted the flavor of all this into the pan, which is going to be useful when we do the oil. Right in there. I'm going to turn the heat down just a bit. And we're going to take our skirt steak that we wrapped with the prosciutto and underneath are those thyme leaves. I want to make sure this isn't too hot. And we're just going to set it right in there. And then we're going to leave it alone. And we're going to let it cook for about two minutes, two to three minutes on each side. All right, about two minutes. We're just going to flip this over. I see how nicely charred that prosciutto is. That buffalo is cooked very nicely, but we got a nice color crust on that prosciutto and those thyme leaves, or those sage leaves under there smell really, really good. Two more minutes on this side. All right, we're looking at two minutes on this side too. We got the same thing happening on the other side. We got the nice char on that prosciutto, I'm taking it off and putting it on a plate. And we're going to let that rest while we do our next step here. We've got our chicken stock. And we've got our white wine. And we are just going to let this reduce by half on about a medium heat. You want to scrape up everything on the bottom of that pan. Get it all into the flavor. You don't want to throw that down the drain when you're scrubbing it. And we'll take the big burnt pieces out of here though. But yeah, you want to let this reduce by about half. It'll thicken up just a little bit as it reduces. This is going to be our sauce. Our steak is over here. Our skirt steak is over here resting. We got a little bit of salt and pepper we're going to throw in here. And I'm going to keep cleaning up while this reduces. All right, this is reduced by half. Barely any liquid in there. I'm going to take our tablespoon of butter, cold butter. Make sure it's cold butter. And you want this to just introduce it into your sauce, and you just want it to slowly melt into that. And you want it to emulsify everything so you get a nice sauce. This will help thicken it as well. And give it a little taste. Maybe just a pinch more salt and pepper. A 
There's your sauce. We're going to take this over and plate it up. that shot where I, I had the fork load of it and it's really good but I'm going to show you there's a shot there I'm gonna throw some of this onions on there too yeah we'll get to that but and then there's a shot there of this wonderful meat a prosciutto really makes the buffalo taste fantastic. The sage leaves have just really, really uh, impacted the flavor. I mean, this is very rustic. It's a very uh, definition I can eat. It's a very rustic dish with the mushrooms, the earthiness of those mushrooms and the onions caramelized. I forgot to add the uh, more sage leaves into our saute when we were caramelizing all those aromatics and the mushrooms. I forgot to add sage leaves because those cook up and crumble up and get dried out just like this. And it looks nice as well. But there's a shot of all the good stuff in there. Mm. Yeah, this is really, really good. One more bite of the bison. And you notice that I didn't pound and tenderize the skirt steak when we open it up, when I cut off a piece. There's really no need for it. This is so thin and it just cooks so great. Um, it's seared nicely, cooked all the way through. Usually you don't want to cook bison fast like that, but with the prosciutto and a kind of a little protectorate. There's another bite there. Hopefully you can see that on that shot. But this is, this is really good. Like I said, the recipe is down in the description box of the first pinned comment. Go check that out. But you want to go to Wild Oasis Bison to get this bison. And don't forget that discount code of CHEF10 that you'll see down below in the description box or in the first pinned comment. Um, this is worth it. This is good meat. Wild Oasis Bison. I hope you give it a try. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you again real soon. Uh, these rappers don't listen, well let me show them something You hear that beat pumping, pumping from the soul kitchen <laughs> Now what you fixing up? Good food, soul food, come and pick it up These rappers don't listen, well let me show them something You hear that beat pumping, pumping from the soul kitchen